This is the tutorial on Model Predictive Path Integral Control, or MPPI for short. MPPI is a control algorithm that was first published in 2015. In this video, you can see it in action. You have a race car racing around a sand track. Uh, the race car is the so-called auto rally platform. And in the bottom left, you can actually see what the controller sees. So the controller has a model of the environment and at every state it produces thousands of random input sequences. It applies those input sequences and simulates what would happen to the system if it applied the sequence. So you obtain this series of so-called rollouts, different simulations into the future and it kind of explores the space ahead of the car and to obtain the best inputs at every state it weights those random inputs that were tried and simulated onto the system and the idea is that low cost makes an input good so it gets a large weight in that um, averaging and it has to be mentioned that MPPI is a so-called path integral method the idea is that you optimize uh, by sampling from the system, but it's just one type of optimization that's been used in model predictive control. Other types of optimization exist too. Let's look at the core idea in more detail. So MPPI is a type of model predictive control or MPC algorithm. Its main idea is to simulate thousands of rollouts into the future. Each rollout is different in that it has a randomly different input. The idea to obtain the best input is by doing a weighted sum of the inputs that were tried. And the intuition of that is if a rollout had a low cost, then the inputs that produced them were good, so they get a large weight. And you repeatedly do this procedure, you update the inputs and apply the whole loop again. So let's look at the system that we just had. It's in this current state with a position and velocity and its goal is to race around this curve. So we choose in this example a simple MPC horizon of four steps. So we optimize over four steps and we are going to simulate three rollouts. To do that uh, we will produce three random disturbance vectors, delta UK, and so we are going to have three colors for those three rollouts, delta U1, 2, and 3. And in the kth rollout, we apply the disturbed input vector U plus delta UK, where delta UK is the random component and U is the so-called vector of nominal inputs. So this is the first rollout. As you can see, if you apply the first input, you land here, and then you apply a new input, you land here, you apply a new input, you land here, and then the trajectory is completed. Over the course of that first rollout, you accrue a cost of 2000. Then you do the same thing again for the second rollout. In this case, the inputs are lucky because they actually produce a very good trajectory with a very low cost of 100. And in the third rollout, uh, you see that the car goes off the track pretty quickly and doesn't recover, so you accrue a cost of 5000 for that trajectory. Then after doing those rollouts, you update the nominal inputs. And this is the update law of MPPI. And it looks like this. So U is updated as U plus a weighted sum of the perturbations that were tried. And then you normalize the weights. And what are the weights? Well, the weights encode desirability. And in this case, it's E to the minus one over lambda times SK where SK is the cost of the trajectory, so in this case can be 2,100 and 5,000, and lambda is a constant parameter that we can choose. Let's look at this example. When we choose lambda equal to one, so it just all cancels out, then very simply, U would be updated as U plus e to the minus 2,000, uh, corresponding to this cost, times delta U1, corresponding to the perturbations that resulted in this trajectory, plus e to the minus 100, so this cost, times the perturbations that resulted in this trajectory, plus the same for the third trajectory. And then you divide it by the sum of the weights, so the weights sum up to one. And as you can observe, the 
best, the lowest cost trajectory gets the largest weight. This is also called desirability and you normalize the weights. So that's the core idea.